It's a pretty female, as you may understand. Her mind being bent for rambling unto some foreign land. She dressed herself in sailor's clothes, or so it does appear. And she hired with a captain to serve him for a year. The captain's wife, she being on board, she seemed in great joy to think her husband had engaged such a handsome cabin boy. And now and then she'd slip him a kiss and she would have liked a toy. But it was the captain found out the secret of the handsome cabin boy. Her cheeks, they were like roses, and her hair all in a curl. The sailors often smiled and said he looked just like a girl. But eating all the captain's biscuit, their color didn't destroy, and the waist did swell of pretty Nell, the handsome cabin boy. It was in the bay of Biscay our gallant ship did plow. One night among the sailors was a fearful flurry and row. They tumbled from their hammocks for their sleep it did destroy. And they swore about the groaning of the handsome cabin boy. Oh, doctor, dear, oh, doctor, the cabin boy did cry. Me time is come, I am undone, and I shall surely die. The doctor come running and smiling at the fun. To think a sailor lad should have a daughter or a son. The sailors, when they saw the joke, they all did stand and stare. The child belonged to none of them, they solemnly did swear. And the captain's wife, she says to him, my dear, I wish you joy. For it's either you or me as betray the handsome cabin boy. So each man took his tot of rum and he drunk success to trade. And likewise to the cabin boy who was neither man nor maid. Here's hoping the wars don't rise again, our sailors to destroy. And here's hoping for a jolly lot more like the handsome cabin boy.